The science is clear. Continuing with business as usual is no longer an option. Can we imagine alternative systems? They represent the seeds of a radically different economy. This just changes the economic conversation. This economic system is utterly mismanaging our planetary home. The death of the living world is not an externality. It is the foundation of all life on which everything depends, including, of course, the success of an economy. We've considered the economy the pinnacle of human civilization, and we tend to subordinate the social, the cultural, the political, and especially the ecological, to the economic. We will explore new economic models and theories. Donut economics, degrowth, economic democracy, participatory economy, and the not-for-profit world. These are practices that are today a minority. They're happening in the cracks of capitalism. They represent the seeds of a radically different economy. What we need today is to give them space and resources to water them so that they can, they can become the main way of organizing an economy. It's not never-ending growth. It's balance. It's finding that balance between the social foundation and the ecological ceiling of the donor. So once we have enough, maybe we don't have to produce more goods and services. Maybe we don't have to sell more stuff. Where and by whom should decisions be made? What resources should we use and for what? How can nature have a seat at the table? How can future generations have a seat at the table? So that things are governed not only for the short-term interests of the financial owners, but for the long-term interests of society, of the workers, of the living world. My passion is around trying to demystify the economy and really making it clear that like we are the economy, you have a right and a responsibility to have an opinion on it. Change the system, not the climate, is a common demand in the climate movement. How can we transform the dysfunctional system that we have today to one that can be of service to both people and the planet? We can invent whatever economy we want. Anything that has been socially constructed can be socially deconstructed. Yes, new economic thinking, not just thinking, new economic doing. Let's put this into practice.